Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to uh, divide complex numbers. So we have six plus two i over five minus three i. And so the way to do this is to always look at the bottom piece and multiply by the conjugate in a clever way. So because the bottom piece is five minus three i, we have to multiply by five plus three i like this. And then you divide by the same thing, right? So five plus three i. Every single time, right, all you do is you switch the sign and then you just put that there. You have to put it on the top and on the bottom. Basically, you're multiplying by one in a really clever way. Okay, so now in the numerator, I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses like this. And same thing in the denominator, just to make it a little more clear for the next step. So this is equal to, let's do the top part first. So in the numerator, you want to just distribute. So we do six times five, six times five, that gives us 30. And then six times three i, that's uh, 18i. So plus 18i, beautiful stuff, right? So six times five is 30, six times three i is 18i. Then we do the two i, right? So two i times five, that's gonna be uh, 10i, so plus 10i. And then we do two i times three i, it's gonna give us uh, six i squared. So six i squared. All right, in the bottom, there's a trick, okay? So you have a complex number times its conjugate. There's a formula for that, right? Let me write it up here so you see it. So if you have a minus bi times a plus bi, that's gonna be equal to a squared minus b squared, like this. A squared, sorry, a squared plus b squared. Sorry, a squared plus b squared. <laughs> If it was just a minus b and a plus b, then you would get a squared minus b squared. But because you have the i's, it turns into a plus. So basically here, the a is five and the b is three, right? The a is five and the b is three. So it'll be a squared plus b squared. So it'll be five squared plus three squared. So five squared is 25 and three squared is nine, so plus nine. So again, basically you just square these in an atom, right? So you square the five and you square the three, whenever it looks like this. Now it has to look just like this, right? Notice we didn't do it up here because these are different. They have to be a complex number times its conjugate for this to work. All right, let's keep going. So we have 30, so 30. Uh, let's see, 18i plus 10i is 28i. 28i. Six i squared, i squared is negative one, right? So it'll be six times negative one. So it's gonna become a negative six. So minus six, okay? Then on the bottom we have 25 plus nine. So it's gonna be 34. We're almost there. So this is gonna be equal to 30 minus six. It's gonna be 24. And then we have the 28i, so plus 28i, beautiful stuff, all over 34. The last thing we should probably do is clean this up, right? So you wanna break it up. So it's 24 over 34, I'm gonna come up here. So 24 over 34, and then 28i over 34. So now we usually, we're, we're supposed to simplify, right? So um, you don't have to be a master at this. You can just like keep dividing by two. So if you divide this by two, you get 12. Divide this by two, you get 17. So you get 12 over 17. Divide this by two, you get 14i, so 14i. Divide this by 34 and you get uh, 17. And that is the final answer. So that's how you divide uh, complex numbers. That's it, take care.